I looked back on some prior loads for my 6.5 Creedmoor, and I found some really good nodes at 40.7 grains and 41 and a half grains of H4350 powder. So this is IMR4350 powder. It's uh, very similar, almost identical in terms of the burn rate and the amounts required. So I'm going to load four 10 shot groups at 40.7 and 41 and a half grains of powder. And I'll be shooting 140 grain ELD match bullets. I also have Burger 140 grain VLDT bullets, which is a boat tail hollow point. So I'm going to be shooting four 10 shot groups and I'll compare these. I had a few leftovers from some previous loading. So uh, one of these will actually have the VLDT. I had 21 bullets, so I'll be shooting a 10 shot group and an 11 shot group with that. And also I had some 130 grain ELD match bullets. I had three left over there, so I've loaded those at the 40.7 grain rate. It'll produce a little bit more velocity, but that's fine. Uh, in any event, we will take these to the range and shoot these and see how they perform. I'm also using Federal Gold Metal Match Primers, which have performed very well for me in the past. So hopefully we'll find something here that uh, performs pretty well, and I'll share those results. All right, we've got sort of a full house today at the Georgia Gun Club. And as mentioned, I'm going to be testing a new powder, which is IMR4350, which is supposed to be very close to the H4350. And I'm shooting 140 grain bullets, a 140 ELD match, and also a 140 Burger VLD target, which is a very low drag target bullet. I'll be shooting at 100 yards. I also had three 130 grain ELDs left over. So I've loaded those at 39.8 grains, which is 2,600 feet per second. And I'll be shooting two loads each for the 140 ELD and the 140 VLDT. I'll be shooting those at 40.7 and 41.5 grains each. So let's get started shooting at 100 yards. As always, you're welcome to enjoy the music while I fast forward through my shooting, or you can skip forward to the results at the end. All right, there we go. Four targets with ten shot groups. Let's bring them in and see how we did. All right, this was the barrel warming group. These are all touching, stringing vertically. This was three shots of 130 ELDM, a little scattered there. This was my 40.7 ELD match, ten shots. Looks like about uh, right at an inch extreme spread. I mean, radius looks pretty good. This uh, was very disappointing. I had a real tight group here, and that was my last shot, this flyer right here. But these grew pretty well. And then on the 40.7 VLT target bullet, we had 8 out of 10 that clustered really well right here. And then this, again, was my last shot. This flyer, don't know why I tend to flinch on my last shot. But this one was away from the group, too. 
and then this group I expected it to be better I expected it to be more in line with the 41.5 ELDM but that was my most scattered group of all with the burger at 41 and a half grains I guess we need to compare this this was IMR 4350 we might want to compare this against the H4350 and see how those do but we will take these home measure them and get back to you with the results all right so here are my results from the range today and i'm measuring these groups with the hornady Fordoff ballistics app using the group analysis function so i will show you the groups here and i'll also show you the measurements from the hornady app as well besides these so we're shooting a Saco S265 Creedmoor. I'm using Lapua six times fired brass. And I got a hold of some federal gold medal match primers, which have performed really well for me in the past. We're shooting at 100 yards. And I'm shooting with IMR 4350 powder. This is very similar to the H4350 powder. Uh, but uh, we shall see. In fact, I might want to run a test comparing the IMR 4350 to the H4350 just to see which of those performs better. I actually expected a little bit better result here, but again, I'm shooting 10 shot groups on these, and the more shots you fire, the more you can expect those groups to open up. But I always fire a barrel fouling group to warm the barrel before I begin, and so this was my first group. This was a five shot group, and this was the first shot. The first shot always, for some reason, seems to shoot high, and then the others come into line. But this was a 0.66 extreme spread, and the mean radius was only 0.24 inches, which a, a radius is half of a circle. So if you take that and double it, that means your average group size was 0.48 inches. And of course, when you shoot more shots and you're measuring mean radius, you're going to get more information there because if you're only checking extreme spread, you're only measuring two data points. Like from here to here, for example, we had a 1.19 inch group, but we had a 0.39 mean radius, which that's half a circle. So if you double that, that means your average group size was 0.78 inches. Pretty respectable, I think. So here, our first group was 0.66 with a mean radius of 0.24. And we were only about a quarter of an inch off on the center of that group, a quarter of an inch high and a quarter of an inch to the left. The rest of these continued to shoot high and to the left. But it's interesting, I've put these red crosshairs in here to show you the average center of the group for each group as measured by the Hornady app. And it's interesting here that when we start off, we're shooting at 0.12 and 0.11 high in elevation. And as the barrel heats up, it goes to 0.49 and 0.40. Now, of course, these were two different bullets. I started off shooting two groups of ELD match bullets, 140 grain Hornady. And then the last two groups were the Burger VLDT, which is their very low drag target bullet. And so it could have been the difference in how the bullet flies that caused that change in elevation. But I also see that we go from shooting 0.56 to the left to 0.39 to 0.16 to 0.17. So the groups tend to tighten up as far as that point of aim. We're getting closer to that bullseye as the barrel heats up. And I had um, three 130 ELD match left over from previous shootings, and I just wanted to go ahead and get those done. So I fired those with 39.8 grains of IMR 4350, and we had a 1.125 group. That's basically one and one eighth inch from here to here. So we'll look at these individually. This first group at 40.7 grains, with a 140 grain ELD match bullet. These are traveling at 2663 feet per second, according to the manual. And we had an extreme spread here of 0.99 inches, but our mean radius was 0.37 inches. And here's our average point of impact. And you can see how the shots are clustered around that, but that's your average center of impact there. And at 0.37 inches, 
uh, mean radius, if you double that, that means your average group size out of 10 shots was 0.74 inches. Then we move on to the 41 and a half grains of IMR 4350 with the 140 ELD match. And that group opened up a little bit. I expected it to be tighter at that higher charge weight, but it opened up and the extreme spread from here to here was 1.19 inches. I had a really good group going here. They're clustered together pretty well, but this was my last shot. And it's so aggravating that you, when you've got them all tight right here and you pull your last shot, that could just be the barrel gods doing their thing. But the last shot shot high and to the left. And if you take out that flyer, then the group size would have been 1.01. .01. But as it is, it's 1.19. I've got a 0.39 mean radius. So the thing is, if you're only looking at the extreme spread, you're only looking at two shots. And I had a 1.19 group size, which doesn't seem very good. But when you, the more shots that you have, the more data points you have, because that Hornady app is going to measure each one of these, and it's going to calculate an average point of impact in the mean distance of each of those to the center. So we had a 0.39 mean radius times two gives you an average group size of 0.78 inches. Still not bad. We move on to the burger at 40.7 grains with their very low drag target bullet. Here's a picture of what that looks like. But we're shooting these at, again, 2663 feet per second. This was my last shot, again, a flyer, and we had an extreme spread uh, from here to here, and that extreme spread was 1.24 inches. But if you back that flyer out, then you've got an extreme spread of 0.92 inches. And we shot 11 shots here because that was how many rounds I had left to load. I had 21 rounds of the uh, VLDT bullets, so I loaded all of those. So I shot a group of 11 and a group of 10 just to get rid of those and use those all up. But again, here's your average point of impact. It's 16 hundredths an inch off center and a half an inch high at 0.49. So there's your average point of impact. There's your cluster with a 0.37 mean radius. Again, giving you an average group size of 0.74 inches. And then we had 41 and a half grains of the VLD bullet at 2,700 feet per second. And we shot a 1.35 average group size and a 0.47 mean radius, giving you an average group size of 0.94 inches. So this was getting a little more spread out. The uh, average center is just 17 hundredths left of center as far as your windage and your elevation is a little bit tighter at 0.40 inches. But still, I mean, this would be a good round for hunting with but not for precision rifle. All right, so those are my results from the range today. I hope you find this interesting. I hope you'll give the Hornady Fordoff app a try. There's a link in the description below on how to use that application. You can download it uh, from your app store. Just search on Hornady 4DOF and download that. You'll pay a one-time fee of $5 to be able to use that, but you get a tremendous amount of data by using that app. All right, so there we go. I hope you find this information useful. Please like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.